four months on from Gabrielle, another bout of severe weather left Gisborne farmer Sam Gemmell without power and completely cut off. Again, the only access from the family homestead to Whadikorpai Road is via a bridge, which was wiped out by the cyclone. With the rising waters, the river is impassable. His contact with the outside world is limited to shouting to his father over the river. Access to everything, to the road, to your neighbours and staff. Everyone, we've all got our problems with it. We're all dealing with shit from the cyclone and this continued rain and that, but I just think it hasn't been handled that well. Homs doesn't seem to be there, like, haven't had one phone call from the council or anything or to see or do anything about anything. And it's, like, I just would have thought that they could do a bit better than what they're doing. Gisborne District Council disputes this, saying there has been regular contact with Sam's father, Mark, who lives in Gisborne City. Our regional recovery coordinator has been in contact with the Gemmels quite regularly. I know that she has been leading um, the response in terms of making sure that they're stocked, so I know that they're well stocked. In terms of the bridge discussions, I also know she's been having discussions with them. This is not good enough for the Gemmels. I would have thought they had a responsibility to check that their residents and their ratepayers were, were safe and, and offer some sort of solution to what we're, what we're facing. Mokonui Station Bridge is privately owned. Sam Gemmell's grandfather built the bridge in 1959. It withstood Cyclone Bowler and in 2020 it was given an overhaul. Before Sam took over we thought Bridge is an important part of the infrastructure, so we got the girders sandblasted and repainted by a contractor from Hawke's Bay and completely redecked it and re-railed it. That cost us $180,000 we spent on just on that sort of renovation. The guy said, it'll last you for another 60 years. We never predicted Gabriel and three years later it was all gone, it's washed away. It services one family. When you look at the 20 bridges that are across the region that are just non-existent anymore, that doesn't fit within our priorities um, and it's unlikely to in the long term. Sam Gemmell purchased Mukunui Station from his parents just under three years ago. His father Mark Gemmell had brought it from his father who started as a shepherd on the farm pre-war and became a partner in the farm in 1946. Blocked a culvert here and a big land movement by the look of it. The risk is that you're all over on the house side of the river and you get a heavy rain at night and then, you know, in a case of an emergency, you, well, for whatever reason, you, you can't get back across it again. So, yeah, it's uh, an essential part of the farm's infrastructure, no doubt about it. You watch the weather a lot more now, and like, especially now with no access, like I'm just constantly looking at the weather and seeing what's coming and I don't want to end up stuck on the other sides. Group manager for Taira Fiti Recovery, Anita Reddy Holthausen, says $47.6 million has been injected into the region for woody debris and salt removal. Do you think you guys have exhausted and done everything that you needed to do in terms of that situation? If there's more that we can do to support them, we'd love to hear from them. Our case coordinator has been in touch with them regularly to provide that support and the wraparound services that they might need to have access to. I think we're doing as much as we possibly can but as I say the doors open always open if they, they feel that we need to do more for them. I'll go over to there and I'll, I'll, talk, I'll yell out over there. Yeah I'm in a bit of a shitty situation in that but so are a lot of other people but it just feels like you know, those, all the people that are really needing the help don't seem to be getting it. The Gemmell family opted not to insure the bridge as it was too expensive, which is apparently common for private bridge owners. But now they face replacement costs up to half a million dollars. That's what we're after. We're looking at some advice and help and a uh, bit of surface water there. And we're looking at funding so he can re-establish the link with the homestead so the farm can continue to be a, be a prosperous, productive family farm. Sam has received $10,000 from the Ministry for Primary Industries and $3,000 from the Rural Support Trust.
Like I've never really asked for any handouts. I'm not, not asking anyone for a handout, but I just want a bit of help. They panic and give you 10 grand. Every farmer gets 10 grand, but it didn't matter whether you're a 700 hectare farm or a 10 hectare farm or you all got 10 grand, but it just makes no sense. Like some people need more money and some people are in different situations. On the 29th of June, the government released support packages for growers, farmers and businesses affected by North Island weather events. The package includes underwriting bank lending and offering cheaper finance options to ensure long-term survival of critical regional industries. But Mark says his son needs more support. If we stop farming and stop producing food, the country is well, it's got nothing. It's, it's still the backbone of New Zealand's economy, producing food. So they have a responsibility to look after a farm like Mokanui, which is a productive farm. This bridge is pretty much my livelihood and my business, and I just need a bit of help to try and get back running again so I can run the business properly and effectively and carry on like contributing. Have you got more slips? now than after Gabriel. Same coming up the valley. 